What up, everybody? This is your boy, Black Makis, back with another car blogs. Um, told you guys I'd try to get more of these in. Um, it's Tuesday, April the 17th, tax day. People, you have not filed your taxes by now. File your goddamn taxes, because if you don't, you're going to get penalized. You're going to be in trouble. You're going to be mad. You're going to be pissed. Either if you owe, file them. That don't mean you have to pay today. Um, I should know. I've done this before. Um... <laughs> But you file it. You want to have it on file because you don't want Uncle Sam coming back to you um, next year, two years later, three years later, four or five years later, saying, yo, you didn't file your taxes this year. We're going to audit the fuck out of you because you will incur penalties for not doing that shit. So just do it. Even if you owe, just file it. Be like, fuck it. I'll cut you the check later when I have it, whatever. File those shits. Seriously. Don't, don't, don't. Don't fuck yourself. Don't fuck yourself over. Anyway, um, so, <sighs> what's going on right now? Um, finals week, accounting, god damn it. Had a week off to relax. Um, I actually got my grade back for my course project and didn't do too bad. Um, I ended up getting like around an 85 on it, which is much better than I actually thought I would get. I was so fucking nervous and scared about that shit because accountants have been kind of a struggle for me to kind of like, you know, get the concepts. But I think what happened was once I was able to, you know, relax, sit down and just work through it, um, I was fine. Um, I actually find myself being a better student when I can just sit, not be bothered and work through something. And do it, you know, do it with some repetition to where I get comfortable with. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Um, but you just telling me something is not going to help. At the same time, the way you tell it can be kind of a hindrance. And I think that's one of the problems I've had is like, our teacher hasn't been necessarily engaging. And again, while I do like to be left alone, I do like some type of detail or at least some type of roadmap like map it out for me and then let me go and it doesn't feel like a teacher really did that so that bothered me um but you know i've always said this and it's something that if you haven't gone to college you may learn um soon um there are teachers who actually enjoy being able to share what they know um but you will find yourself a lot of times running into college quote unquote professors who they're just people who've been in the profession and they know how to do it. So they teach it as if they're just relating to you. Um, they're ex like just relating their experience instead of trying to actually provide a lesson. Um, they talk about things, basically they talk about things in the, um, in the sense that you should already know this cause I know this and we all know people like that in our lives who will sit and have conversations with you about all types of things, like things that they work with. Um, not being mindful that you may not know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, luckily for me, I hang around a lot of people who are willing to kind of give me some background explanation. Like um, co-host, Cardi XMO. He's a programmer. And he doesn't necessarily talk about the things to, that he does as if I know it. He kind of breaks it down to me. I mean, of course, sometimes getting caught up in the moment, he'll go that way because you're ranting. When you ran over work, trust me, I do this all the time. When I rant about work, I don't even think about, well, they probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just trying to rant. But I say that he's good at um, kind of letting you understand what it is he's talking about first so kudos to you sir um but no it, that's just an example that i use like a lot of people will just talk rocket science to each other um and not be cognizant of the fact that hey not everybody knows what the fuck you're talking about um anyway that was a weird tangent uh so what's going on for this week uh god of war god of war is coming up and it got great reviews um Immaculate reviews last week. The Sony was confident enough to let people go ahead and eight days before 
release their reviews on it. And so far, I think it's still maintaining a 95% um, on Metacritic for overall aggregated reviews, which is very, very good. That being said, I don't necessarily mean that this game is going to be great to everybody. Um, like, I heard one review with this guy. He had um, a couple of elements in the game that he really didn't care for, which, you know, hey, it's his opinion and it makes sense. Um, he wasn't necessarily being despiteful. He just said, like, it's a certain mechanics, certain elements. I didn't find that interesting. Um, I've heard from a couple of people in, like, video reviews and whatnot, podcasts, that the game kind of gets stretched a bit. So that's a valid, you know, complaint. The thing is, when I look at or listen to these reviews, I basically don't try to map them to my expectations or make them, how could I say, influence whether or not I'm going to get something. I mean, there's some things, and, uh, you know, we've discussed this before in videos, but there's some things where sometimes you do need review help. To kind of get yourself a feel for it. Like I poured through a lot of different um, personal reviews and um, professional reviews for TVs. So I could feel out what type of TV I should look for and what type of TV I was getting. And I was satisfied with what they said um, to the point where it sounded like the pluses and minuses weighed in the favor of the pluses. At least for me. And I wouldn't pull the trigger. And that's the thing. The pluses and minuses shouldn't weigh on whether or not you feel like, okay, well, if everybody's saying this is a minus, this is a minus, this is a minus, and only this is a plus, then clearly this ain't worth me getting. No, the pluses that they point out may be what you're looking for. Um, everybody's different. Our minuses aren't going to be the same. Um, and it's something that I continue cautious people caution people to do when it comes to review take it from the perspective of what is it about this review or what about their opinion that you find would be a red flag for you i know red flags for me when it comes to um game reviews uh story if people don't find the story compelling interesting um if enough people don't, I will be. I will take a moment and think. Hmm. Well, let me look and see if the premise seems good, and if it's just an execution of the story that's bad. If it's an execution of the story that's bad, I might still look into it to see what the, what it's about. It's like that's me. I'm heavy on the story, um, and for other people, it's just all about the shooting mechanics. It's all about, um you know, button layout. It's a number of different things. And like, you just have to take it from your perspective and not let it dominate you. Um, the score that don't let the score dominate your opinion or your feel for something. Um, but I know we, we all get caught in that habit. We see that score and we immediately think, Oh, it must be awesome. Um, especially tens. I know I've always said there's no such thing as a fucking 10. I don't know why people, um, get upset when games get tens because it's like one again reviews are opinions three i don't think 10 means perfection so stop thinking of 10 as perfection um if anything 10 means perfection in that person's eye or that it's so good that even with this flaws it's you know deserves the highest score you know what i mean but it's been about 10 minutes and i'm getting close to going into work so Oh, and I know you guys missed that fence. Um, that's why I did this, because that fence hasn't been in here in a long time. But um, anyway, just, you know, if you're looking for the God of War, get it. Um, if you're not, don't just get it because it got good scores and be a part of the whole, yeah, I played this great game type thing, because there's so many, like, fucking classics that I've not played. Um, <laughs> and... That I don't feel bad that I didn't play because certain circumstances or just lack of interest in the property. Um, I'll say this blasphemous thing first and then I'll head out here. Most people who know me know I'm not a fan of Halo. I thought one was okay, but for the most part, don't find Halo all that engaging. But anyway, um, so I'm going to end this right now. 
Somebody just pulled up. That's why I moved the camera right here. Um. Anyway, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Maze, and I'm out, y'all. This is.